Hey there, YouTube. Superbrain AK here. Hmm, see that flickering? <laughs> That's from this guy. It's a the box right here. Sunhin, like 500 something lumen uh, LED bar. 540. There you go. Yep. Problem is, it's uh, pulse width, so it's messing with the camera there. Hopefully, that doesn't bug everybody. I might uh, swap out the little touch driver for something a little bit better. It's just got a little chip inside. And then the transistor for the LEDs. So, yeah. What all of this is, is, well, that might give it away. Can anybody guess? A um, rear projection TV. Because it has three um, tiny CRTs. One's for red, green, and blue. And then these are also from those. And yeah, it's got some crazy inputs there bunch of input switchers and whatever. And it actually has a DVI input, a little processor and a little microcontroller there. And then that this plugs right into here. And it also has the uh, tuners, more processors, processors, definitely a bunch of little secondary chips. And then this big connector here goes to this big box with the main processor, CPU, and the display. And it has this two connectors here, which go to this board, which does the uh, main horizontal vertical um, outputs. Which also basically really go to these big uh, amplifiers here. And them there. Let's go to the CRT coils. And the connectors red, green, uh, blue I believe. Yeah. Funny how they use yellow. What's really awesome is the, well it's just a little amplifier there. But look at that. Transistor there and diode there. That is 10 amps, 1500 volts. Pretty awesome. And then it also has another one very similar to this over here that powered the flyback. And also did the like heating element and stuff. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome. And yeah, the flyback here. Not too terribly large. Let me go grab the uh, big one. And he is. There he is. A little bit dinkier. But this one is probably an AC flyback because it goes into this triple deflection, whatever, something or other. <laughs> There's the specs on it, if you can read that. So yeah, this, this would just plug in right there. And it has three, possibly even four outputs. And this little wire off of the flyback there would actually go to this thing. The uh, horizontal focus, whatever, not. If anybody knows what's inside one of these, if it'd be worth uh, pulling the epoxy part. Don't know what's inside one of these. If anybody knows, let me know. That will be pretty cool to find out. So yeah, this board has some really nice components. Big capacitors, uh, switching diodes, big inductor, 
big resistors, capacitors, other transistors, heat sinks too. Those are some decent heat sinks. And the power supply. Look at all that. Wow, that is crazy. So it's got mains input here, filtering coils, bridge rectifier, which goes to these two capacitors in a doubling type. It's a big resistor here for limiting the current, the surge current going to these. What's really cool is it has a little um, circuit that goes through like a little op amp here so the differential between this goes through the diode and through that resistor to that op amp or to stuff under here there's some surface mount on the other side which like measures the voltage across this turning on and off this relay to um, and probably also inhibiting this so if there's enough current draw high voltage will tell this relay to stay off well this relay stays off with the higher high differential and it also tells this to stay off as well but once the surge these capacitors are charged the voltage drop decreases turning on this relay enabling the driver and outputting and what's really cool is it's got these two oh, these two MOSFETs there that actually do a really weird sort of design. It uses this capacitor in sort of a flip-flop charge-discharge of this capacitor. Which I thought was really interesting. But it seems fairly efficient. And yeah, it's got quite a be few outputs. It's got 135, positive, negative 15, positive, negative 22, uh, negative 5, 11, 6, and standby 5 volts. And yeah, it's going to be fun to get all the capacitors and components off here and see what kind of output we can get on that flyback. I also got a bunch of wires. <laughs> Had a massive loom coming from the power supply all the way over and down to there and there on the boards. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for some more fun.